back to another brand new video. Today we have an Amazon video. We have 15 of these brand new graded mystery packs. And you might be thinking, didn't you learn your lesson two weeks ago when you opened those zoo packs that were just atrocious? Well, these have a chance to actually be pretty good. There is no feedback left by anybody. I think I'm the first, pur uh, first purchaser of these. And yes, I purchased all of these. They were not just sent to me like uh, we have for Mystery Box Monday with people wanting to promote their products. I actually went out there and I looked for mystery packs on eBay and I or checked that Amazon. And I picked the one that I thought might be the best. And the reason why I thought it was the best was because... I saw they have a football product, the same exact format, one PSA slabbed up card or BGS, one auto and one rookie parallel or numbered card. And the football version got a 4.4, which is for Amazon purposes, that's pretty good. So if this is as good as the football ones, it might be worth it. So before we get into opening all 15 of these, let me show you the listing and I'll show you why I thought it was worth it. All right, everybody, straight from my Amazon page, here is the listing. The Collector's Summit MLB Baseball Card Mystery Pack. Three cards. There'll be one graded card and an autograph or relic and a rookie numbered or something else. So it says there's insane value in here, and it's filled with top players and valuable cards. It'll give us the best experience possible with three cards per pack. we got a chance of hitting some big and valuable cards in each slot, so we'll check that out. There's also a Hall of Famers and Stars in here, which is nice. I'm hoping these are all recognizable names. A mix of vintage and modern cards, which is nice. And also, it says here that there's pack odds of finding extra stuff, extra rookies, extra PSA cards, and so on. So it says made for collectors or by collectors for collectors so hopefully they know what they're talking about let's take a look at some of the pictures there you see the cover you'll see that uh, you saw that in the thumbnail you'll see that again the second picture it says three cards per pack they list some pretty nice cards there there's no no name cards of course again this is a sell sheet so they want this to look as good as possible next picture they put top players in every pack ricky henderson rookie card there right in the middle along with the mookie bets over there on the left then more good cards it says the best value beats the competition better than blasters megas etc because you don't really get much of your value back usually in retail products but in here they're saying you will and there's no junk cards this is what really kind of made me happy big x over these no-name players a lot of mystery packs will give you as your hit a no-name player and we don't want that and also we have a chance at maybe some extras one in five will have an extra rookie one in ten will have an extra PSA graded card, one in 25, we'll have an extra auto or memorabilia card. So now we're going to check all these out. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. We do videos every single day. Now let's open all 15 of these up. All right, so we've seen the listing. What do you think? Are you sold? 55 bucks. Let's check it out. Let's try it. Here we go. We got 15 of these. Good luck, everybody. Tamara is going to start the first one off. One graded mystery pack. This is by Collector Summit. We are the first people, at least that I know of, that have opened this product. Three cards, one PSA or BGS, one auto or memorabilia card, and one rookie card parallel or numbered card, and you have a chance of extra hits. Hopefully, we can get a pretty close return on the $55. I had to charge $65 because I had to add money for shipping. It's about 5 bucks to ship plus money for PayPal fees. All right, here we go. So we have Andrew McCutcheon is going to be our hit, at least our auto or relic hit. Looks like we have a relic here. So we have McCutcheon. That's a pretty nice one. It's from Triple Threads, number to 27. We have a numbered card of Miguel Cabrera. And there's an autograph on the other side, too, of Josh Reddick. So, hey, you kind of... Uh, something you kind of gave us two there, which is pretty nice. And the... Hit here is going to be a Mauricio Dubon National Treasures PSA 9 autograph. So National Treasures, a higher-end release. It is a rookie patch auto of Mauricio Dubon. So not too bad. Also get a Josiah Gray rookie card in there as well for Tamara. So not too bad. Is that worth 50 bucks or so? I don't know about the Dubon. Um, if you'd like to, if anyone has some extra hands on their time, uh, extra time on their hands rather tonight, if you want to go through and comp all this stuff out on eBay and maybe give me a price for each and every pack, that'd be kind of interesting. And Hey, your, your comment will probably be voted up as the top comment in the comment section. Um, 
Sometimes, like with the zoo packs, a lot of the time you pay, I forget what they even were. Like if they were $50, you might get $10 to $15 back per pack. Scott Varner's up next. Let's see what we have for Scott here. I'll try to save the PSA slab for last. We have a Louis Heel, finest rookie auto. Not too bad. And our numbered card is going to be a Joey Bart. And the slab is on the other side. It is going to be Aaron Judge. It is a Gold Cup, Aaron Judge. It is a PSA 9. The only downfall of this is it is his opening day version. So if that was a if that was like a chrome Aaron Judge, that would be that'd be pretty sweet. Second year Gold Cup card of Judge. Next, we've got Jason Myers at spot number three. Good luck, Jason. Let's see what we can do for you here in this next pack. So Tony Santian is not... The best rookie. We would have I'd like to see some J Rods, Wander Francos. You should, uh, you should probably just see like the top five rookies if you're going to guarantee really big names in here. Jefferson Caro first, Bowman Chrome Auto. Who's the hit or the graded card? It's going to be Max Muncie. That is a nice one right there. Max Muncie, former first round pick. Very nice card right there. It is a blue shimmer out of 150. So if you're not much of a prospect, you probably haven't heard that name before. Unless you follow Major League Base when you know the Dodgers Max Muncy who has 11 home runs right now. But that's a really nice prospect right there for Jason. And it's a blue shimmer PSA 9. So not too bad right there. That's a good pack. Arguably the best pack so far. Here's number four for Brian Wargle. Good luck, Brian. Let's see what we have in number four. By the way, we have a live stream coming up tomorrow. It's the Saturday showdown the saturday night box wars are back i've got bowman hobby and bowman jumbo rounds if you'd like to get in we also have museum collection i check that archive signature series museum collection i have a case on order but lots of good stuff tomorrow night i hope you can join us for it we'll probably get started around 8 30 p.m eastern or so there's former rookie of the year kyle lewis out of 27 who's really fallen hard and fast from grace there might be a second card in here too maybe oh there's not it's a yordi purple i am uh, very pleased so far that we haven't seen a bunch of kyle lewis graded cards like kyle lewis psa 9 did you know you can get a kyle lewis psa 9 gold rookie which you know people love gold rookie cards because they're limited to 2020 or whatever whatever the year is you can get one psa 9 for like five bucks in a psa 9 gold that's crazy <laughs> worthless that card has become and hey look at this a PSA 10, Mark McGuire, 87 tops. It says, congrats, you have pulled the weekly chase hit. I guess that's what happens when you buy 15 packs. I don't know how many of these they sell per week. Can't be that many if nobody's left any reviews. So who knows? This might be all the all the packs they made up this week. We got it. Big Mac, Mark McGuire, a PSA 10, according to this company, Summit. It is a $120 value right there. So, Brian, congratulations on that. A Big Mac. Very, very nice. Congratulations, Brian, on that. So, that might be the most valuable car that we see tonight. But hopefully we see many more that are worth approaching $50 uh, cumulatively in these Summit Packs. All right, here's the next one. We've got Key Brian Hayes, rookie card, and we've got Jesus Sanchez first Bowman Chrome Auto, which is not too bad. Jesus Sanchez and our slab. It is going to be Vlad. Oh, man, that's a Vladdy PSA 9. I love Vladdy so much. Definitely my top five favorite players. It's a PSA 9 of his Bowman draft, Bowman Chrome draft, and... Uh, Bone Draft Chrome, I guess I should say. It is the Sky Blue Refractor. So I'll tell you what, it's out of $3.99. Josh, if that was my pack, I would be pretty happy. Out of the last two, I would have been happy with either of those. And Josh, you have one more coming to you. So let's see what we have coming up. So did I do a good job picking a good mystery pack? I think so far it's looking pretty good. Whenever you buy anything, any of these mystery packs, always look at all the feedback. And with in this instance, it's kind of tough to tell because there was none. But especially on eBay, a lot of times you might see some folks that will actually say, hey, I spent X amount of dollars and I got an Aristides Aquino PSA 8 in my $50 mystery pack. It's my big hit. And I'm not happy about it. So folks will tell you a lot in those comments. 
There's Nolan Arenado, and we have a Rod Carew out of 25 National Treasure. Like that one right there. That's a good card. Hall of Famer Rod Carew, and the hit, it's going to be a Bowman. It's a Yankee. It's Jason Dominguez, PSA 10. That's a great card right there. That was the big, big card back in 2020. Everybody was after this card. The one downfall about it is Jason Dominguez currently, as of this minute, is hitting 130 with two home runs in the minor leagues. Yes, 130. I just checked his stats right before going live because I've been kind of keeping an eye on him. Um, I don't know. We'll see. He also hit one something in the years in a fall league in 80 at bats last year. So I don't know. Big hype prospect sometimes miss. In fact, oftentimes miss. I hope that's not the case for Dominguez. But a PSA 10, that is a very nice card right there. It might just be a bad month. You never know. Actually, with the minor league season, it could just be a bad 15 games. Bad half month since the minor league season starts a little bit later. Dan's up next. I don't think we've seen a single BGS card yet, which I'm a fan of. I like PSA much better than BGS. However, I think I might feel a BGS holder in here. Unless it's a thick PSA. Oh, it's a, it might be just a thick PSA card. Uh, wow, we've got a double. Oh, this could be very nice for you, Dan. We've got a double PSA hit. And I think one of them is a vintage card from the mid-50s coming up. Possible maybe 55 or 56. I didn't get a good look at the back. But we've got a Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card there from National Baseball Card Day. And Roylan Machandi out of 499 is the other one. So it did say that one in every, oh, what was it? One in every so many packs have an extra PSA card card tossed in the mix and we're gonna have one right here it looks like i'm gonna do the one that's not the vintage one first it's Bo Bichette. it is the complete set photo variation it's a psa 10 that's a nice card right there i love Bo Bichette. i'd put him in my top 10 to 15 favorite players he led the league in hits the last two years batting second up there north of the border right in front of vladdy he's gonna have another great season he's already hitting what's his batting average like most of the season over 350 I believe. Great card, Bo Bichette. And there's another card in here for you, Dan. I told you the back was one of those 50-style backs. It's going to be – it's actually a 59. I saw the front. It's a Charlie Lau PSA 7, which is a really good score for a late 50s tops card. 58 tops, sorry. The 59 has the circular cutout in the background. But it's a 58 tops Charlie Lau PSA 7. Hey, not too shabby right there. A little toss in. Bonus PSA hit for Dan. All right, moving on. Let's grab the next pack and see what we have. Brian Markle coming up next. Let's see what we can find for Bri here. So we have a Don Mattingly. Nice. Out of uh, legendary cuts. Game use jersey. And Ryan Mountcastle is going to be the rookie. That, that third card is either a rookie parallel or numbered card. And time for the hit. For Brian, we have for you our first BGS of the day. It is a winning materials. It's A-Rod. It's an Alex Rodriguez BGS 8.5. It is a dual relic. Probably the worst pack so far. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I guess if there's someone out there comping all these cards out, we'll see. But we're moving right along to Brian. I guess they can't all be winners. It'd be nice if every pack was. I don't think there's a chaser component to this, so you would hope that every pack equals the same value. We've got Chris Bryant, game use bat. We've got Rodolfo Castro, rookie card. He had a home run the other day. He has three on the year, hitting like 271. He might be a, a nice one here if he can continue that pace. Who knows? He's got some power. Could maybe hit 20 dingers this year. He's going to get a lot of playing time with O'Neill Cruz out. And William Buffington, your hit is going to be Alec Bohm, PSA 10. It's a pre-rookie card right here. It's a 2018 Bowman's Best Refractor. It's a good card. Alec Bum got off to a great start this year. So, William, congratulations on that one. And we have six packs left. Jose Suarez coming up next. And, again, I just picked all these up on Amazon. I'm not paid for this. I paid for all of these myself. Um, and then sold them to Patreon members for the price plus the shipping and fees. And uh, so far, I think they're pretty good. Here we have Gary Sheffield, game use bat, and we have an Ian Kinsler red. And then our slab, it's going to be a Tyler Malley PSA 10 rookie auto. Very nice. He's still in the league. He's not one of these guys that's fallen off and you're like, whatever happened to that guy? He's still around. 
PSA 10 Gold Chrome Refractor Auto Rookie out of 50 for Jose Suarez. So, Jose, congrats on that one. Let's see what else we have. Number 11 coming up for Jason Smith. Good luck, Jason. Here we go. We have a Nick Niedert will be the rookie and the hit. It is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. It is a dual relic from Tribute. Numbered out of 150. Not too bad whatsoever. Here's your slabbed up hit. It is going to be Bobby Witt Jr. in a PSA 10. First Bowman card. Great card right there. That is, uh, you know, that's one of the great cards from 2020 Bowman. I think it has surpassed the Jason Dominguez. Bobby Witt actually in the big leagues doing stuff. Dominguez scuffling in double A right now. So if I was given the choice between the Witt PSA 10 and the Dominguez PSA 10, I would have to say this it would be the better bet for me. A nice card right there, Jason. Congrats on that. Next up, spot number 12. This one is for p -Wirt. So, Philip, good luck to you. Oh, we got a PSA 10. I accidentally saw it there. I didn't mean to, but I did. We have Joey Votto, producer's card, which is going to be numbered, and Hall of Famer Mike Mucina. Nice little game used relic from Fleer Ultra. That's a nice. I haven't seen that one before. And the hit, it's going to be a Project 70 card. Christian Yelich, 1974 Tops design. In a PSA 10. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the. Uh, I kind of like the picture. Actually, that picture is really cool. A little, like, uh, I don't know, a little train in the background with his name graffitied on there. That picture is kind of neat. For some reason, it just reminds me of the movie The Natural, where. Uh, um, Robert Redford strikes out Babe Ruth at that fairgrounds for some reason. That's a great movie, by the way. The Natural. Roy Hobbs. Spot number 13. They need a Roy... They, make, they should make a Roy Hobbs card. Like, hey, Big League, next year... I don't know if they ever caught on to my... I, I, I suggested the influencer slash YouTuber set a year or two ago, and I did that. Maybe they'll take this one up, too. I'm not saying they did because of me. What about, like, a movie... Um, they'd have to get the rights to these guys, but some of these uh, baseball movie stars, like having a Roy Hobbs card would be pretty cool and big lead to chase after. And then maybe a couple other ones. Maybe you can get Benny the Jet from the Sandlot and so on. Here's Reed Detmers out of 36. Maybe some from Major League, like Rick, uh, Ricky Vaughn, Wild Thing. Reed Detmers, and we have a San Francisco Giants. Is that... Mike Yastrzemski. These are the worst cards I've ever seen in my life. I hate... This is his name even on there. It's like down there in white, which completely blends in. Mike Yastrzemski. The contenders are awful. I hate this. Very, very bad. I think they're the worst design. Even worse than 2021 Tops Base. And the hit here, it's a Mike Trout. It's a PSA 9 with Hank Aaron on the card as well. Tops Fire. PSA 9 2019. Trout and Hammer and Hank for Jason Snyder. Pharaoh's up next, and there's only... Two packs left. Let's see what we have for Farrow. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Again, tomorrow, we'll be back live with a Saturday Night Box Wars Kyle Tucker dual relic out of 25. And Jonathan India, rookie card. It was the rookie of the year in the National League a couple years ago. And the hit, Ozzy Albies in a PSA 9. If he can stay healthy, he's going to put up numbers. It's his Topps Chrome rookie card. Albies, PSA 9 for Farrow. And now we're down to our final one. Spot number seven. There also, by the way, was an extra pack in here. A little bonus that was sitting on there. I guess uh, kind of like a thank you pack. I'll open that one up after this one. Robert. It's spot number 15. Let's see what we can find for Robert here. We have Cedric Mullins. Rookie Auto from Chrome. That's a great card right there. Cedric Mullins All-Star. And uh, very, very nice card. We used to be sick of that card back in 2019 because we'd pull it all the time and you it was really scuffling back then. It wasn't really worth much. But now, that's a good card. And we've got Aaron Judge out of nine ninety nine. And the hit here, the final one, it's going to be a Ken Griffey Jr. in a PSA 9. It is a 92 Fleer, but even kind of cooler than just being a 92 Fleer. It's a 7-Eleven card, the Performer Collection. Sometimes gas stations would give away cards if you bought a tank of gas. Like if you pumped 10 or more gallons you would get a free pack of cards. I remember, I think Sunoco used to, or Atlantic used to do it back in the like 1993 season. But that is pretty awesome. I haven't seen that one before. So, Robert, congrats on that. And then, like I said, this was put in there as well, I guess, for buying so many packs. They're like, hey, let's give this guy a little bonus. Maybe he'll come back and buy some more. 
I thought it was a pretty good uh, overall product. I like, I kind of like the the packs that have a guaranteed slab in there, a guaranteed auto. It's nice. I like the fact we don't have all kinds of junk base to go through. Sometimes mystery packs, they 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 will kind of cheapen their look because they'll put so much base in there because the person making it has so much base. Like, hmm, how can I get rid of these? I'll just throw them all in mystery packs and put a couple decent hits in there. But it ends up looking crappier than it is. So I think mystery packs that just have the good stuff in there usually end up looking the best. Now, this one says it's a multi-sport pack. It says um, sports cards, comics, games. I don't know. Value packed for fun. Each direct pack from collector. Some of this value packed and fun for every everybody. Let's see what exactly we have here. So we have, looks like some base cards. Um, we've got a Manny Machado Mini on the top. And some UFC cards in here as well which I don't know a thing about. There's some Metal Universe cards from those blaster boxes that were on the shelves. I think I actually bought one of those at Walmart just to check it out a few months ago. And an autograph of E.J. Manuel, a quarterback. It's numbered out of 75 from Tops Prime. This one might be a decade old, 2013 on that. And there's a PSA slab in here as well. It's going to be a uh, Moses Moody, whoever that is, PSA 9. You have to let me know, folks, if you like basketball, what's that worth? Kind of interested. Nice little bonus pack there from the Collector's Summit. So, again, you can find those on eBay. And I uh, just figured I'd pick up 15 of them because you guys liked the last Amazon product I did. It was at least fun to watch, even though it was terrible. So I tried my best to find one that would give us uh, a little more bang for a buck. And this is the one I went with. I thought it was pretty good. So let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if someone's out there diligently researching all the prices and giving us all 15 of the returns, I think that would be kind of cool. I would probably say, I'm going to guess the average return on the $55 is probably about 40 bucks or so. Um, you have to think, well, if you're selling on Amazon, what percent do they even take? Is it 25, 30%? I don't, I don't know anything about Amazon fees. So I would imagine if they're breaking even, they'd probably have to come away with at least 40 bucks in their pocket or so. Um, so... I don't know. We'll see what you guys say in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out tomorrow for our Saturday Night Box Wars. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.